What's going on everybody? Welcome to Aqua Dash and today we are going to set up a 10 gallon fresh water tank. So I'm starting my first aquarium with the LED starter kit by Aquaculture. It comes with things enough to get you started. So here's what we get with in the box. So you get a stock filter and you get a hood with the LED lighting on it. You also get a small sachet of fish food and a water conditioner. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first things first, before you set up your tank or if you put anything in there, you have to rinse it off of the toxins in there. So take a wet tissue or a wet cloth, whatever you want and rinse it off all the way from inside. And yes, you can see my other two aquariums down there too. So that will be showing that at the end of the video. So stick around. So once you rinse off the tank, it's time to put in the gravel. So make sure you rinse off the gravel too before you put it in the tank. So once you put in your gravel, it's time to put in your decorations. So I've got a skull and some fake plants and some stones for my older tank that I'll be putting in. So guys this is how it looks once I have all my decorations in. Once you have the decorations in there it's time to put in the filter. So this is the filter that I got with the kit. So make sure to rinse off the carbon filter before you put it in the tank and set it all up. So this is the carbon filter inside the bag and that's a regular filter. So these are way more important because this will circulate the whole tank and also this is where the beneficial bacteria will be reproducing in the tank. So this is the carbon filter that I get with it. So you put it in and you put the regular filter with it. So yeah, once you put it in, that's how it looks. Yeah, I put it in the wrong way. I did correct it later on though. Because you put the regular filter in the front and the carbon filter in the back. So let's set it up. In poking out but that's all right and i have a hood on top of it so this is the water conditioner that i got with the kit by tetra aqua safe and it's a one teaspoon every 10 gallon but i didn't really pay attention to that i just put the whole thing in there and that's fine i made more the merrier and so i could get my you know tank circulated real quick and also produce more beneficial bacteria 
So here you go. That's how I pour it all in. So once you're done with this procedure, you let the tank circulate like for a week, not a week, two weeks to three weeks for a 10 gallon, two weeks should be good. But I mean, if you want to keep it more, that's fine. So this is how it looks guys. Once it's circulated, it will be ready for all my fishes to be in the 10 gallon tank, like my bala shark and my red tail shark back there. So I've kept in my beta tank for now because I don't have no place for them to be in. So once my 10 gallon tank is circulated after like 2 weeks, I'll be shifting them on the 10 gallon tank. In the 10 gallon tank. So these are my fishies. And this is my tank. My beta tank. And this is my 10 gallon tank. So this is how it looks once it's all set up. I let it be there for two weeks. I let it circulate, and once I circulate it, we'll be putting in my bala shark and my red tail shark in the 10 gallon. So, this is how it looks with the hood and with the LED lights on. So, guys, it's been two weeks, and like I said, I would show you my other two aquariums. So, this is one of my aquariums. And that's my beta in there. I call it Zuko. So I will name them Zuko. And those are my Bala Shark and the Red Tail Shark. I put them in a the plastic and let them in the 10 gallon to acclimate. Till then, let me tell you about Zuko. So Zuko is my first fish, and this is how it all started again. This is how I got back in the hobby. So Zuko was my first fish, I seen him in the pet store, I guess it was pet supermarket, my cousin and me were in the store and he wanted to get in and he got it and I was like nah I'm not going to take care of him, no, not again, I mean I was in the hobby back then but I was, I've been away for a while now but I guess you know you can't be away from it but yeah, that's how I got back in and yes I know um, Bala shark and Petal shark are schooling fishes but I will I didn't do my research at that time I did it later on but yes I will eventually just get a whole school of Bala and Petal let's see how it goes they look beautiful in my 10 gallon tank